just cannot afford to go leg side with a man standing inside the, the ring at short fine. Bowling! So this again is another breakthrough for the West Indians. Taylor does it for them. Well, at this stage, when a batsman needs a boundary, you've got to bowl straight. If he misses, you've got to be lined up with those stumps. And Jerome Taylor does just that. Tries to go across it, Mike Hussey. Misses and the West Indians have struck again. Mike Hussey's gone for 13. It's 217 and 14 for seven. The West Indies have bowled themselves back into this game. They have it to win. Australia need 21 from 13 balls. Wrapped around the ground, yes, it must be out, yes. What a wonderful delivery this is from Taylor. Pitching out at all stump, nipping back quickly, and there was no doubt whatsoever. Levers right in front, and umpire Kirk. Rudy Kirsten had no doubt about it. Well, we're talking about bowling straight. Jerome Taylor is doing just that. This one hitting Brett Lee in front of middle, beating him for pace. A man fixing a pipe couldn't be plumber than that. So Australia 214 for eight. Lee goes without scoring. So it's Taylor to the rose of the crowd. That's a hat trick. What a, what, a, what a wonderful effort this has been from Taylor. A hat trick under circumstances which uh, really has been very, very difficult. Well, Jerome Taylor has bowled the West Indies right into this game. Three wickets and three balls. Last three of us, they've been 13 runs scored and three week four wickets have fallen. And here's his third. Hogg trying to get inside the line to hit it over square leg. And at this time in the game, you've got to bowl straight. If they miss, you hit. Hogg's gone for 10. Australia, 219 for 9. 